1960, wild chimpanzees, Pantroglodites, were spread over 25 countries in Africa, and Panpaniscus, the bonobo, was widespread in southern Zaire, now the Congo. By 1990, common chimps were only found in 16 countries, and total populations were estimated at slightly over 100,000 animals. At this point, they were declared an endangered species. By now, they have probably disappeared from several more countries, such as war-torn Rwanda, and only 10 countries are projected to have more than 1,000 chimpanzees in them. Bonobos are now found in only a fraction of their former range. Jane Goodall began studying wild chimpanzees in Gombe Stream Reserve in western Tanzania in 1960. In 1997, she received the Tyler Medal for Conservation in recognition of her efforts in promoting chimpanzee conservation. She has helped establish sanctuaries for animals poached from the wild, as well as improve the lot of captive chimpanzees in the entertainment industry and in medical research. Her work in Gombe began in 1960, where she habituated one of the first groups of wild chimpanzees to be studied. In the 40 plus years since then, this work has continued at Gombe and provided major insights about the behavior of this fascinating ape. This female, Fifi, is the daughter of one of Goodall's first research subjects, Flo. She is with her current offspring, a little male. The persistence of long-term matrilineal bonds was one of the initial important discoveries that Goodall made. The other adult is Fifi's daughter, Fanny, and her offspring, who is Fifi's grandchild. These females sit and groom together frequently as an expression of their social bonds. Chimpanzees, as apes, differ from monkeys in their size, about 80 to 130 pounds, their shoulder, designed for hanging their weight by their arm from over their head, their large brain-to-body ratio, and their complex behavior. In particular, male chimpanzees tend to remain in the group they are born into and to develop social bonds with each other by engaging in mutual grooming. Male-male grooming like this is much more common in chimpanzees than in all other species of apes and reflects the cooperation needed among males to establish and maintain a group territory within which the females range. Grooming is also done to keep the coat clean of detritus and free of parasites, as well as for social reassurance. Since chimpanzees move around their territory alone or in small groups, they keep in touch with others by vocalizing and listening for the calls of others. These calls can indicate that a food source has been found. A frenzy of food barks can indicate that a successful hunt has taken place. In this case, a monkey was killed. The behavior of hunting mammalian prey by chimpanzees was another of Goodall's major discoveries because this supports the use of wild chimpanzees as a model in the study of early human ancestors. The sharing of prey with other individuals was even more important than the occurrence of hunting in terms of looking at chimpanzees as possible models from which to hypothesize about early hominid behavior. However, most of the diet is made up of vegetable material such as fruit, leaves, nuts, and of social insects, which are a major protein source. Unfortunately, little chimpanzees are very appealing, and these are frequently taken by poachers who kill the mothers and capture the young to sell on the pet market or for research. In order to provide a place to house animals confiscated by the government from poachers, Goodall helped to set up several refuges in Africa. It would be extremely difficult to return these youngsters to the wild because chimpanzees must learn a great deal from their mothers about eating, 
communicating and social relations in order to survive, and these youngsters no longer have mothers. In some cases, these animals are ex-pets rescued from very poor homes where they do not tend to survive very long. Cheetah, who's playing with Mike right here, um, has a kind of funny background. She was somebody's pet and they had her in the backyard. The sanctuary provides chimpanzee companions for these animals and makes an effort to give them as good a life as possible. <laughs> In some cases, small groups have learned enough about foraging and social behavior to be re-released, but this is a very long-term project. The prospects for these youngsters are somewhat limited because of the difficulty in raising funds to support these sanctuaries. However, they have a much better life than some of the captive chimpanzees housed in zoo conditions, especially in the past. Before much study on wild chimpanzees had occurred, Many of them were kept in sterile concrete and iron bar cages, often alone. This is as cruel for chimpanzees as it would be for people. They are intensely social animals, and species isolation is very hard for them. Even when they have a playmate, a toy,